Germany has ground to a halt as transport staff across the country stage a major strike to push for wage hikes to blunt the impact of surging inflation. It is set to be one of the biggest walkouts in decades in Europe's largest economy. German airports, bus and train stations are at a standstill, causing disruption for millions of people at the start of the work week. Workers are heeding calls from Germany's two largest unions for the 24-hour walkout. EVG, representing 230,000 railway and bus workers, they want a 12% wage hike, while Verdi, representing some 2.5 million public sector employees, is demanding a rise of 10.5%. Wir fordern 10,5 Prozent, mindestens 500 Euro und dieser Mindestbetrag ist uns auch ganz, ganz besonders wichtig, weil gerade die unteren und mittleren Einkommensgruppen von der Inflation überproportional stark betroffen sind. Unser Ziel ist ja nicht die Fahrgäste und die Schüler zu bestreiken, sondern der, 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 die Vorstände der ganzen Unternehmen. Und diese Verantwortung, diesen Schuh müssen sich die Manager anziehen, die hier ihr Personal billig abspeisen wollen. Trent Murray joins us live from Berlin with more details. Trent, what's been the impact of those strikes so far and has the government been able to take any steps to mitigate the disruptions? Yeah, it is just such an extraordinary sight here at Berlin Central Station. It's a sight we are seeing right across the country. Uh, effectively, it is completely paralysed. It is a, a ghost town here, really. There are no passengers. They've clearly got the warning in advance that there were going to be no train services. It's not just here, but all of the major cities have been affected. There are no long-distance trains, no regional trains. Even in many cities, there are no subway or metro services. Bus services have also been closed down, as well as pretty well the all of the major airports, with the exception of Berlin International. Frankfurt and Munich is receiving no incoming passengers. There are no departing flights as well, which is, of course, having quite a major knock-on effect, not just on German travellers, but international travellers that use those airports in order to connect to other parts of Europe. Now, the advice from airlines as well as train companies is to try and phone ahead or to go online to get the latest information. What they are doing is allowing people to travel over the next 24 to 48 hours. In other words, tomorrow when this strike comes to an end. But it is worth noting that the unions are describing this as a warning strike. There is a bit of a clue in the name there. They say if they don't get those wage negotiations uh, to a point of agreement that they are happy with, well, then there will be more of these walkouts and a lot more pain for the travelling public. Mm, and we're hearing that a third round of salary negotiations for the public sector workers is expected today. Uh, how's that going to be different from the first two rounds? Yeah, well, look, it's a very good question. We understand those wage negotiations are underway right now. The difficulty is, uh, is that the unions are asking for quite a significant jump in wages for their members. We're talking between 10 and 12 percent. Now, they say that is to combat uh, record inflation across the country, grocery prices, uh, electricity costs, heating costs are all up in the double digits. And so they would like to see their members' wages increase for that reason. The trouble is, from the train company's point of view or the airline's point of view as well, uh, is that any sort of raise uh, of that magnitude would then have to be passed on to the travelling public. So they are still quite far apart, if you will, in this negotiation. That will continue throughout much of the day. But, of course, hanging in the balance right now is the livelihood of millions of passengers who have had their day disrupted today and are being told more of this disruption will come unless an agreement can be found. All right, uh, Trent Murray uh, joining us from a, a very quiet uh, railway station in Berlin. Thank you.